Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to be discussing the Tesla truck, but in the UK, we might call that a pickup rather than a truck. And if you've seen the launch or you've seen pictures of the new Cybertruck, you might think that you're watching a Specsavers advert. Yeah, it's uh, got a bit of a Marmite reaction to most people, so let's dig into it. Full disclosure, one of my friends has ordered one of the Tesla Cybertrucks. And yes, I did ask him if he's also appearing in the new Specsavers advert. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but Dean Fielding from Ecoplug, who I've done videos with in the past, um, become a great friend of mine through obviously our shared nature of EVs and love. Um, yeah, he's ordered one of these. Now, he hasn't, to be fair on him, he hasn't ordered one just because it's a Tesla. He's ordered one, he's in the building trade, and it makes a lot of sense for them to have something like a pickup a truck to use as an actual work vehicle for, uh, for towing the machinery, etc. So I get why he's ordered it. Although when he sent me the order reservation, I did think he was winding me up. So I've just rang him and asked him, is he winding me up? Because I honestly think it's ugly. And he said, no. And I went, you've really ordered it? And he said, yes. And I said, have you seen it? And he went, yes. I watched up all night and watched it. And I went, okay, great. You've seen it. He go, Do you honestly think it's a good looking vehicle? He went, no, it's ugly. That's why I like it. So now we've <laughs> dealt with the odd looks of the car. Let's dig into what the car actually, what the vehicle actually does, this pickup actually does and why it is an important step forward. And some of the other sort of rumors are going on about the launch, including, is this really the finished product? Now from its side profile, it looks a bit like a DeLorean. And one of my friends, Beth Lilly, gave me a quote, which was, it looks like a scrap heat challenge DeLorean, which fair enough, it, it does. It's very square and very boxy. Now supposedly Elon has got the idea, the shape, the concept from an old James Bond film, which was, he liked the look of an old James Bond car. I think it was a Lotus, the, the car that he based it on, and that's what they based the shape on. <sighs> now, it's more to me a DeLorean, and if you rearrange the words DeLorean, the letters, it actually spells Dear Elon. So, a nice little anagram there for you. Now, being sort of James Bondy, Elon has made this with. Are you ready for this? Space Age technology. And it really is Space Age technology. It's using the same steel that they're gonna be using in SpaceX uh, rockets. It is super strong. It's 30 times cold pressed steel. It's a special alloy that they've made, especially at SpaceX, and now they're using in this truck. Being this special stainless steel, it is super strong. In fact, so strong that on the demo on the unveil, they hit it very, very hard with a sledgehammer and there was no dents to it or you know obvious marks to it. And they hit it quite a few times with a sledgehammer and it just kept bouncing off. Which moves us on to the next little demo they did. Elon's actually made a tank. He showed a demo of the car being shot with a bullet and a normal door panel being shot with a bullet. And the car is bulletproof. This stainless steel frame they've used is a bulletproof frame it, it basically if you're in a car and you're being shot at it you won't get killed um, whether how useless that will be in north america or england i don't know but if you're thinking of traveling to afghanistan or iraq it's probably a good car and elon if you haven't thought of releasing those cars in that, those markets um send me a check in the post <laughs> now his next demo was showing how tough the glass was. And they did some drop tests on a piece of glass they had with a couple of ball bearings from various heights. And obviously the glass did not smash, which is great, which is what you don't want the glass to do. He wants to prove that how strong it is. I think he referred to it as metal glass, see-through glass. Then they decided to get with one of, one of these ball bearings and throw it at the physical truck that was on the stage. And it smashed. Yeah. It, it, it smashed <laughs> and then they did the rear window just in case the front window was a fluke and it smashed <laughs> and there's some videos on twitter of some engineers walking around the back with some new glass to fit in the truckler before it went on test drives now i honestly honestly think that elon deliberately 
didn't put the correct glass in the truckler for that demo. I deliberately think that he wanted that glass to smash for publicity. It got in all the papers, everyone's talking about it going wrong, and it got free press. And Elon is a master at getting free press. So I honestly do think that that was not the actual proper glass. I believe that was deliberately done to smash and get to the front of the papers and be interesting. I think it's Elon trolling everyone in a bit of a, a bit of a joke way. Because let's be honest, when you saw Elon after it smashed, he wasn't even in the slightest bit surprised and just carried on like nothing happened. So I, I really do think that part was planned. If you're not impressed with the shape, you're gonna be impressed with the figures. If you are thinking of buying a pickup, the figures on this are impressive. The towing weight is this, which is huge. The 0 to 60 time on the car is 2.9 seconds and it's going to be available in three battery specs and motor specs. So each motor spec will have a different range spec. The lowest range entry point range car, which is cheap, the, the entry point is coming in, I think it's, uh, I've got it written down and I can't see it, $39,000 and Elon said without incentives. Um, so that is pre-incentives, so it's going to start at $39,000 and autopilot again is included same as the Model 3 is included, just not full, the full self-driving system, but autopilot is included. So the smallest motor range is 250, that's a single motor. There's the dual motor, which is 300 mile range, followed by the tri-motor. Now the tri-motor is 500 mile range. And what I think Elon means by tri-motor, and I've not really read into or checked, but I'm gonna believe it's gonna have a, cent a front center motor with two independent uh, powered rear, rear wheel drive wheels. So one in the front, two in the back, and that will give you tri, tri as in the number three, tri-motor. That means that with 500 miles, Elon is trying to say to, if you're a Ford GT driver, sorry, Ford F-150 driver, which is what this they're trying to compete with. They're trying to get away, they're trying to get people away from the typical normal pickup trucks in America, the big massive ones, and bring them over to a similar size truck, but electric. And the one thing, the one objection they're gonna come up to, to F-150 drivers is, with my petrol car, I can do, 400 miles, 300 miles, 500, well, now you can do 500 miles. If you want the tri-motor, you will get 500 mile range out of your electric pickup truck, and that pretty much quashes all the arguments of I need a truck that does at least 300 miles. And pretty much all the trucks do around about 300, so 250, 300, you're basically killing a lot of those arguments that will come up from existing ICE truck drivers. Of course, it's gonna have air suspension. Now, air suspension has a couple of benefits on a truck like this. First of all, you can hire the ride height for off-road capabilities, so you can get a little bit more off-roading. The other main advantage is when you're driving normally on highways, motorways, you can lower the ride height, therefore improving the drag coefficiency, therefore increasing range, so getting further range. So it's got two advantages there. Elon's also gonna take advantage of this uh, air, air, air suspension system by having a tap off for it so you can use your air tools or pump up your own wheels. So it's got a built-in air supply so you can use air tools, pumps, all sorts of anything powered normally by an air tool. What he's also got is he's going to get rid of the fact that you don't need a petrol or diesel generator on site. So if you're working on a remote site with no electric or no hookup, you're now gonna have a 120 and 220 volt tap-off connection in the truck bed. So that even gives you the flexibility of not bringing any petrol or diesel to a remote site. If you're a joiner, plasterer, builder, running cement mixer, it really does sort of make things a lot easier for those kind of tradesmen sort of people because they've got less tools, less stuff to carry in the back of the truck bed, which is, by the way, the coolest opening truck bed I have ever seen. <laughs> If you can get over how weird it looks, and to be honest, it's weirdly growing on me. I, I don't like it. I'm not gonna have one. I don't like big pickup trucks. I don't like pickups anyway, so I'm not gonna like this. But it is a, it's a bit out there and it's a bit weird. Rivian have also got their truck out with a more appealing truck look. Now there was some rumors going around that the one that we saw, the one that they unveiled, Tesla unveiled, 
is just a pre-production model. It doesn't look finished, which, yes, it obviously doesn't look finished. It's not finished, but they're all saying that it's going to have a radically different shape. So there's these render pictures going around. And now I don't think it's going to be any of these renders. And the reason is the very, very, very start of the Tesla unveil for this new truck, this Cybertruck, Elon said, I'm on board of trucks looking all the same way. And he showed a picture of a bunch of trucks that all look exactly the same. Then he had three trucks and he took all the badging, all the names off the front of them. And you couldn't tell which is which. And that's exactly what this render looks like. It just looks like another pickup truck. So he's not going to go down one of these rendered looks. He wants it to look like this. And that's the way it's going to look. And some of us might think it's horrible and ugly and the worst thing ever. But some of us also hate Marmite. So, yeah, it's, it's going to appeal to certain people. And I know people who've ordered them. Um, even if I do think they should go to spec savers and have their eyesight checked, but yeah, that's another thing. Thank you very much, by the way, for watching this week's video. If you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's a bit of an odd video for me to cover a Tesla thing, but it's important enough and it's caused enough traction on the web. Please check me out on my Twitter or Instagram, and I'll see you again next week. Thanks very much, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.